Hello, I would like to take a few minutes to discuss what's going on in the interest rate markets, broadly in the bond markets, with the perspective of trying to figure out where it makes sense to invest our portfolio. Now we all know that over the last couple of quarters, the economy has been going through a soft patch. Certain sectors like auto, of course, have taken the brunt of it. But more broadly, we have seen the GDP numbers and the index of industrial production continue to remain on the softer side. Inflation too has been under control, though of late it has actually inched up very close to the 4% RBI's target. To counter this economic slowdown, we have seen significant action coming from the RBI and the government. The RBI has cut rates aggressively over the last few months uh, and has allowed liquidity to move massively into surplus mode. This easy liquidity environment actually has meant that the market overnight interest rate is now significantly below the RBI's own benchmark repo rate. And that is helping pushing the market interest rates much lower than it was a few months or a couple of quarters ago. The government on its part has also been doing a fair amount of heavy lifting, most recently with the reduction in the corporate tax rates, which should help the economy over the coming few quarters and years. What does this all mean, therefore, for the markets? First of all, with inflation close to 4%, the available space for RBI to cut rates is now coming down, which means that the market will now incrementally expect less from the RBI and will be looking elsewhere to see what happens next. Already, like I mentioned before, the market interest rates, especially on the overnight side, are trading below the benchmark repo rate. The lower growth has meant that tax collections, for example, the GST growth, has been well below what was initially projected during the budget. The corporate tax cuts will, in addition, put pressure on the government's finances. This has continued to place a lot of pressure on GSEC yields uh, and, in general, the long-term bond market rates. Uh, so this means that despite all of these rate cuts that the RBI has delivered over, uh, since the start of the year, we have actually not seen that translating into long-term bond yields uh, uh, moving down. In fact, in the recent past, despite RBI cutting rates quite aggressively, we have actually seen yields on long bonds uh, continue to go up. And the entire benefit of this lower rates and easy liquidity has actually flowed into short-term bonds, where we have seen a material drop in yields over the last few months. Now, this has worked out quite well for us because uh, if you have been uh, uh, listening to these uh, videos in the past, you would know that we have been recommending short-term products over longer-term products for this very reason, that the RBI's rate cuts are being transmitted to the shorter end of the yield curve, while worries on the fiscal front are keeping long-term rates elevated. Our view is that much of the same is likely to play out over the coming few months and quarters. Therefore, we expect that this easy liquidity and RBI's easy monetary stance will continue to benefit short-term rates, which means rates typically below the three-year mark in opposition to longer-term rates, which are typically rates above the five-year space. So we continue to believe that products in the money markets to short categories, which includes, in our case, funds such as the Axis Ultra Short-Term Fund or the Axis Short-Term Fund, will continue to benefit from the policy stance of the RBI uh, in, in, the, in the coming few months. Thank you for listening. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.